Hope you enjoyed this part. The cover scribe. Thank you. This is Sullivan Ass giving my latest review on Dra on Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, Episode 95. The Duel You Believe In. This episode will continue to do what happened last time. Sergei duel Jack. Jack won his duel. That duel was one of the best duels they have in Arc 5. Straight, uh, I mean, it had so many quirks and hints to Arc 5 because of the oh, Earthbound Immortals. Duelists becoming one with their duel runner. Uh, dual machines and stuff like that, you know, cyborgs, you know, living machines, you know. And the situation, you know, one of my favorite moments from that episode was John Michel Roger going crazy that Sergei wouldn't obey him. Him, like, literally infuriated, saying, you imbecile, you idiot. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, that's definitely fun. That's definitely funny. And, you know, very funny. Hey, that's one of the best parts of the episode. That's one. That's one of the things I like the most. Huh. You know. Now, now let's get to the main story. Even though the duel was awesome and it, it made people stop fighting, the rioting still continues. Like, why the hell? Are they, like these people want to prove that they don't want. On a, you know, the commons still want to rally against the toss. They still want to revolt. They still want to turn around the society. They don't care. But they want to change. Hey, but you know, but they can't do it. But nothing. Happen if you do to do nothing to force, you know. This is a major move. And Roger, you know, that disturbed look on his face, Roger has completely lost it. And knowing that the comments are you know, crazy, the, the thoughts are scared and terrified. So Roger decides to declare martial law, you know. And he has no, I mean, these people, I mean, he has no choice. Now that, okay, his trump card is gone, his main soldier is gone, his strong... Oh, now he has no choice but to use force, using security to round up the top, I mean, the comments, and dis and take over c by using force now. However, this situation is not easy. He things are not going to go the way he planned. What and one of my favorite moments is it, one of my favorite moments as Roger delivering his speech, and and everybody hearing what what's happening. You know, you know, one of my favorite moments. Yuzu knocking. knocking Roger out the ra out the way, knocking him and him hitting his head on that. On that chessboard. That's one. Of, that's what. That's that's why Yuzu is one of my favorite characters, and this is like Yuzu is like literally my favorite character in this episode because she knocked Roger out, out moved him out the way, and tell everybody that Roger's main goal is to take over the city using the conflict between the the tots and the comp and using them as using them like to take advantage, and so, you know, he giving the message to Jack, the message to Yuya, that like, use your use. What we learned in standard, use the, what we learned in the you show duel school, and bring smiles to people. Uh, use dueling to stop the fighting. I mean, it makes sense in the duel move with Jack and Sergey. Jack made uh, made the fighting stop. He made people become together. But once the duel was over, you know, uh, you know, people went back to fighting again. Uh, you know, this is messed up. Hey, messed up. Uh, we also know that Sergey survived the crash. But Sergey, he's not human. We get to see that his whole body is literally torn to pieces. He says his arm is off, his body... I mean, he's not even human completely. He's a machine. He's a machine. I, I would think he was kind of like a cyborg. Because he did feel... He did felt pain. At, at some point, he did felt pain. And, you know, but this is some major sci-fi level stuff, you know. You know this is some very he messed up sci-fi level, you know. What the hell? And, you know, about I would classify him as a kind of cyborg, but but the Sergei is a living dual machine, so I'm gonna call him cyborg or cyborg for now. We also get some moments between the conflict between the tops and the comments. I mean, everyone is going crazy right now, fighting. I mean, one of my one of my moments was when Rayra was freaking out. How he him being you know, you know, uh, post traumatic. You know, seeing the fighting. Say if you don't stop, everybody's going to die. One of, the, one of the best mo one of the moments when that was about to happen while he was about to join the fighting, Kurosaki stops him. I know Kurosaki has not got a lot of, has not gotten a lot of screen time in the last couple of episodes. I mean, when he heard about about Academy in, in the invasion, he went off to fight his enemy, but he didn't know where they were, so he basically got lost. You know, that's kind of messed up. I mean, Kurosaki is one of the best characters, but he managed to calm it down, saying, "Calm down, this is not your battlefield." So. So he's basically telling Raya to just stay calm. You don't have to fight. You know, that's one of the best, that's one of the good moments. Because forcing a kid to fight, you know, no matter what situation, it's pretty messed up, you know. Uh, so he calmed the kid down. That's, that's, that's a good thing. 
And I want to reason and remember, if you guys remember between the duel between Crow and, oh, and, and Kurosaki was the reason why he duels because so he could free his homeland for the children, you know. But you also get to learn that get to learn that Jack told Sam to give Yuya a message, saying that if you're going to duel the same way a you're going to duel the same way with me, the way you do with Crow, using nothing but force and power to overwhelm your opponent, then there's no reason for us to fight. You know, basically. Saying, saying, that's, I mean, we all knew that Jack didn't like the way that Yuya beat Crow. You know, we all know that. He called it a boring duel, so. Um, he's like telling him, hey, if you want to fight me, fight, fight me doing another, you, do, you fight the way you believe, the way you believe in. Not, not, not something that you, not something that, you know, that you know, that you don't want to put off. Not something that, you know, makes you want to hurt your opponent completely, basically. So he's basically telling me, duel with pride and honor, like, basically. Duel using the best. And this gives you, you, you an idea. If you can fight, and you can beat Jack in the duel, and bring on the most awesome entertainment duel ever, then the whole city will rally together. So basically, to Yuya, Jack is literally the obstacle he needs to beat. He... To make sure there's peace in the city. So right now, Jack is Yuya's greatest obstacle right now. So, oh, so he has to get to the dual palace, you know. Oh, however, with every with the city in chaos, there's conflict everywhere, and with everywhere, you know, people fighting. And Crow even makes another appearance, saving his friends Shinji and the others. But Shinji and the others, they don't, they don't want to care about Academia. They don't care about you know invade a dual invasion, dimensional war, and yeah, they don't care about the future. They want if they want a future, they ha they want to make a stand now. They're even willing to fight, fight you know, Crow to make sure they you know, they get what they want. I'm like Shinji, you were an idiot. Like basically, hey, do you hate the cops so much, much that you would fight one of your friends? Like seriously, people compare Shinji to the Yusei of the series, but he's not Yusei. He's never he he isn't Yusei, and he's never gonna be Yusei. So Yusei's a a, a class act and a character all the way. So. And this guy is not you, say. You know, so things are things are hectic right now. They're trying to do their best. We had to. We, Ranji even makes his move to try to try to step out. You know, try to make it through. Try to beat security. However, even the security council tries to make their move. They like Ranji basically left them because they're just doing nothing but sitting on their asses the entire entire the entire arc doing nothing. They even thought that they could just take this to the advantage if. If, if 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 the if these two people you know Ranji and Ranji G and uh, Roger fight then they could take advantage of the user so basically but Ranji's not having that having that he's not gonna ha he's not gonna play their games saying this it's people who do people who do nothing but watch has no right to right to do anything basically and that's him shutting them down basically. Saying that you did nothing but sit on your asses and let everything play out, which you could have done something sooner, but said you did nothing, basically. I know they're trying, uh, I, but I know they're trying to do their best to keep the city in order, but they're just in it for themselves. You know, that's what I'm gonna say about the security council. Well, they're in it for themselves. The the the, uh, the, uh, the supreme council. That's all I'm saying. And you, you're making his way to the blue apology. It's not easy for him. One of the best moments in this duel in this episode. Was that you know how, how when he makes it to dual palace he gets a ride everybody all the lancers gets a ride ride on uh, on Shun's raid raptors uh, like he summons and uh, Devil Eagle or Four Strix and he rides Rise Falcon and giving everybody a ride to the dual palace except for Sora and Sushikage they're gonna go rescue Yuzu from the security building and, and take down Roger. Uh, however, Ro uh, Yuya he make yeah you know. Uh, Yuja, you know, he makes the announcement, pleading to the tops in the comments. And I, one of my favorite moments was that Sawatori took the, the microphone from Michelle. Oh, and, oh, I know Sawatori's always been a bit self-centered in it for himself a little bit. But he knows that this fight right, with Academia and the city in danger is a lot bigger than his ego. So that's come character development for Sawatori a little bit. So Yuya pleading with the tops in the comments to please watch this duel. Oh, please... Duels. We're gonna give this this city the best duel ever, and, and he's gonna go gonna fight Jack. I want I want to know how this duel with Jack's gonna end up. I want to see how this goes, because uh, Yuya, yeah, is because Jack is literally the most powerful duelist that Yuya 
has ever faced, and he's never and he and he lost to him, and ne he never beat him. Well, he never beat Renji either. So, oh, but uh, but right now, yeah, you right now Jack is right now his ultimate goal uh, to save the city. So if he can beat Jack and prove to everyone uh, and give people an awesome duel, then he can bring peace to everything. And and this is just and and that's the, and, and and I can't wait for the next episode. It, it looks like Roger's gonna do his best to stop, you know, to stop up this duel using force to make sure that no nothing like this ever happens. He's gonna try to stop them, and but the security, but the, the but Supreme Council already re revoked his rights, you know, like to his command has been negated, and the fact that he his martial law is no longer allowed, basically. So Roger's gonna to try to Roger, you know. Roger is not gonna gonna sit back and let this duel play out. He's gonna try to interfere. Yeah, so I can't wait for this duel. And we've got and we've gotten word that there's going to be an Xyz arc. Uh, that they're gonna go to the Xyz dimension, and we're gonna see some characters from not only from Zexo, but from uh, from GX. So uh, I can't wait for that to happen. Who is it? I'm not gonna tell you because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hold on, just try to transcribe. Thank you, the Sullivan Asky, my latest of you. You are New Gio Arc Fight episode no ninety five, the duel you believe in. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Awesome.